First thing we want to do is remove our oil fill cap. That's going to help the crankcase breathe properly when draining our engine oil. Now, using an 18 millimeter socket, we'll go ahead and remove the drain plug and let the engine oil drain completely. Using an eight millimeter socket, we'll remove the three bolts holding the oil filter cap in place and remove our oil to oil filter. As we install the new oil filter, Make sure the rubber grommet is facing towards the engine because this is a directional filter and if you don't put it in right, you're going to starve the engine for oil. Now we'll just snug our three 8mm bolts back in place. Just good and snug, you don't want to over tighten these. Now we'll reinstall our drain bolt. Before doing so, check the condition in the crush washer. If it's damaged, you'll want to replace it. Otherwise, you'll have leaks. Now it's time to fill the engine with oil. Suzuki recommends that this unit holds 1.5 quarts of 10W40 motorcycle oil. Now we'll remove our funnel and reinstall our oil fill cap. Now we're going to start the engine up, let it idle for just a few moments. That's going to get the oil good and circulated through the system. Once it's idle for a few minutes, we'll go ahead and shut it off and let it sit for a few more moments. That's gonna help us achieve an accurate oil level reading. Now, looking at the sight glass on the right side of the bike, our oil level looks perfect, so let's hit the road.